Hey guys, boy Craig Pump here. Today we are going to show you how to make a sprite do something when another sprite is clicked or activated in any way. So, the way we do this is we use the messaging function, as messages are the way to get an intercom through sprites. So, what this will do, it will broadcast a message and uh, once it receives a message, you can give the orders of what you want to do. So, it could be applied to many things. I'd see this mainly applied towards a shop or something. But without further ado, let's get into it. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get into it. So, what you're going to do is you're going to want to make a sprite. It can be legit anything you want. So, I'm going to make a yellow cube, just for an example. It's just like a little button that you could press to make like a somewhat of a a little a little button so then you're gonna make another sprite you're gonna make another uh yellow cube again this could be anything you want it's most definitely gonna be with uh shops or something so then you uh make another costume in that second sprite and and color it a different color. I'm just gonna do purple. So, uh, then we're going to go into the first block. We're gonna do when this sprite is clicked. Then we're gonna do a uh, broadcast message one block. So that's basically all the scripting that this one needs, I believe. Yes, indeed it is. So, then you're going to rotate your focus over. So when it clicked, it should broadcast that message. But currently, there's nobody to receive it. So let's change that. So uh, we're going to go to that sprite. And then we're going to uh, make a when I receive, when, when I receive message one block. But you could also do when clicked, switch to costume one, just in case you want to like re-click it and then it'll be back to where it was because I'm not adding a redo button. So there's going to be uh, when I receive message one block, um, switch costume to costume two. So just click that sprite and yeah, uh, it switched to purple, which means we know that it received that. So this could be applied to a lot of things. It could be applied to it could be applied to shops, it could be applied to, like, any sort of GUI. What I believe would be unconventional, but would probably still work, would be with audio. So, like, right here, like, you could have an audio play when a different sprite, when a different sprite is clicked. But, you could probably just play an audio on the own sprite. So, you could, like, change size, you could, yeah, there's a lot of things in the, like, motion looks and control blocks that could be triggered once uh, you do that. So that just about wraps it up for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.